I'm here with Tony Lagosh, the kite designer at Slingshot Sports, and we're going to take a look at the new Rev, and I'm going to ask you quickly um, about some of the design features that make the kite work so well. Probably the biggest uh, design feature is uh, the short bridle, um, it's kind of a new compact bridle if you like zoom in up on it. It's uh, real compact, um, which made the kite really stable and uh, easy to relaunch. Um, really good for the surf and the waves. Also, uh, next design feature would be it has all the build of you know our slingshot products, so it's nice and strong. Um, it definitely flies a lot differently than last year's Link. How design-wise, like in terms of profile and aspect ratio, does it differ from the Link? Yeah, basically, you know, the, the Link was uh, we were asking a lot for the customer to figure out that kite. It was a kite that was highly tunable, but it was also you know, we learned that it was like easy for people to screw up, so we had a lot of issues with the link. Um, so we took all those issues and basically said, okay, just make it a one one platform, take the five line off, take the convertible off, you know, as far as the the lifted surface of the kite, the profiles, um, they're they're more driven off of our octane than off of uh, the link. And so it's just basically a more stable kite. It has really high relaunch, um, really good all-around freestyle kite, and it's a great kite for somebody coming from a sea kite that wants to jump into a hybrid category and have that sea kite feel. And so it's more of an explosive free ride hybrid. That's pretty much it. The wingtip profile, it's definitely a lot more stable feeling than on the link. Like we rode the Rav up up to 30 knots and it still felt rock solid in the 11 meter size. Like how do you get so much stability into a, a kite with five struts? Well, basically it comes right back to the bridling. Um, the way the bridle and the, you know, the whole geometry of the kite is all designed around, you know, those pivot points. So the loads are just correct. And that's when you get into the link. We're asking too much for all these different bridle configurations. So we couldn't just say, you say, I can fly five line, but I can fly four line, but it also had to fly straight four line if you got a wrap on your fifth line for configuration. So so even if you so if you got a wrap, you'd need to use our wave grenade. So you have all these, you know, pull point issues and you still needed to do all the things, but you're asking a lot. So when you take all those out and you actually say, okay, back to four, four line, rider simplicity, you know, just keep it, you know, simple, we could actually bridle to the, so everything's just trussed properly versus trying to ask the kite to do too much 